All right, today we're going to be talking about log rhythms. And for those of you who don't know what a logarithm is, let me just give you a quick definition. Let's say I were to write log, and that's just short for logarithm. Log, uh, I don't know, 2 to the 8th. Whoops, 2 to the 8th equals z. Now, basically what I'm saying here is 2 raised to the zth power, and then I'm saying it equals 8. So, a bunch of you common sense people, you know, oh, you know, that's z, it's just a 3. I mean, 2 to the 3rd power equals 8. But, here's my question. If you had, for instance, 5 raised to the x equals 6.325, how would you solve that? And the answer is simple, and it's logarithms. So, pretty much, you need a calculator to solve logarithms. I mean, you could do it, guess and check, it would take a long time, process of elimination. Um, anyways, these two are reversible, so let's go ahead and just define our standard rule. We'll replace this 2 with x, and again here, this 8 will be y, and here it will be y, and then we have our z, and z. So you need to keep that in mind, that's how you rewrite one as the other. If you have something raised to a power equals something, then you just say log of that something equaling that something, and then the power you're raising to goes to this side. And vice versa, to get over here, you would just take the base, log base x of y, and put it to this side of the equation and raise it to the zth power. Then you just get rid of the log completely. You have y equals x to the z. We can go ahead and just or y equals pretty much I'm just rewriting it in a simpler way for you guys to see it all so it all makes sense. Okay, so that's our rule. This is all interchangeable. Let me go ahead and just oops. This will you should just memorize this. It'll come in handy and very standard stuff for logarithms. All right. So what should I talk about now? You know what? I'm going to just give an example of how to solve one with your calculator. Now, if you have like a TI-84 or an 83 or something like that, you've probably noticed that there is, in fact, a log key. And your question might be, oh, well, how do I get to log base 4 of 10? And, <laughs> and the answer is pretty simple. Most calculators don't let you do custom bases. What you can do is if you just see like log, that's a bad example. Let's say you see log y and there's no base. By default, that's just log and then base 10 of y by default. And also if you see ln, that stands for natural log. And let's say ln y. By default, whoops. By default, that stands for log base e of y. And if you don't know what the number e is, it's pretty much just one of those things like e, you have e, you have pi. You can Google it. I'm sure you'll find a bunch on it and stuff. So good luck with that if you don't know. <laughs> so that's our standard rules. Oh, also, one more thing. This, when you're doing logs, x and y, they have to be positive, and x can't equal 1. You can do logs with negatives. That's a way more complex math. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but usually you'll end up with imaginary numbers and complex numbers and all that fun stuff. <laughs> so, and pretty much, well, yeah, I'm not going to get into that actually. Um, so, let's do an example. An example log question. If someone were to say, what is 3 to the x power? Let's just say that equals 9.5. And you want to solve this. Well, you could guess and check. That would take a while. Or we could use which one? This and go to our log formula. So in this case, x is 3. Just write that out. x equals 3. z equals x 
because that's our z right there. And y, which is here, is 9.5. So y equals 9.5. And we can go ahead and plug that into this equation. Just let me, whoops, drag that down here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page. OK. <laughs> I'm in Microsoft Word, in case you haven't figured that out already. Okay, so let's plug those in. X is 3, Z is X, and Y is 9.5. So now this is what X equals. X is equal to 9.5. and Well, X is equal to log base 3 of 9.5. And here's how you'd solve that on a calculator, in case you're wondering, like, Oh, you know, calculator, you can't enter bases because by default the calculators just log base 10 of 9.5 or any number. If you enter 9.5, you would not, that's not the same as this. That's the same as saying that. So, here's what you have to do. And this is a really cool formula, and I'll explain it later in my logarithm properties video, which you should watch next. Pretty much on a calculator, if you have log. Let's just say base x of y. You can rewrite that to say log base 10. Let's put the numbers. Base 10 of y. All divided by. Actually, you know what? All divided by. And make sure you include your parentheses on a calculator so you don't get little errors. Divided by log base 10 of x and pretty much these two are the same thing and by default on your calculator it's gonna look like this probably just log of x because it's not gonna show the base 10 usually since that's the common log and then you have your natural log and it's just commonly known things okay so what we need to do now is take our x, which is 3, and our y, which is 9.5. You plug that into the calculator. That will give you the value for x. And come back up to our original equation. If you take 3 raised to the whatever you got for this equation and your calculator. I don't have my calculator with me, but you can do that if you want. Plug it in, and your answer will come out to be 9.5. I hope this has helped, and go watch my properties video next, because that's also full of great things with logarithms. Yay! <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.